Not so many years ago, Europe was divided by the Iron Curtain. Here in Czechoslovakia, this metaphor was very real. Armed soldiers and barbed wire left hundreds dead, destroying thousands of families and lives. Then on the 17th November 89, the Velvet Revolution put an end to the communist regime and the Iron Curtain. After 40 years, we were finally free. Sadly, nowadays, a half of young Slovaks don't even know why there is a national holiday on the 17th November. O2, a mobile service provider with 2 million customers, decided to use its power to change that. On the 17th November 2016, just for one day, we established a digital Iron Curtain. Anyone who tried to visit a website on a foreign domain encountered a digital border. But this time, they had the option to cross the border freely or find out more about the November 89 events. But we didn't stop there. To everyone who just crossed the real border of Slovakia, we sent a special SMS right on the spot. Before 1989, crossing the border was considered a criminal offense. 400,000 Slovaks were withheld at the digital Iron Curtain, and it became a huge topic. Four months after our campaign, and for the first time in 30 years, even the Slovak court rehabilitated a victim of the Iron Curtain and established a precedent. In the times of political populism and extremist parties on the rise, we have reminded the nation about the value of freedom and built a digital Iron Curtain to never have to face a real one again.